Shalom, shalom. This is a brother Emma Wan from GMS London Forecasters. Coming to you another lesson in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. First and foremost, as always, I would like to say Kahala Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Maka Kodash. And I said double honors also to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to all the Archimat led doing this work. Sincerely, in the name of the Heavenly Father Yahweh and His Son and our Lord and Saviour Yahweh Shai. So, I was trying to do this little lesson, man, because I was uh, I was on a, on a on a lunch break from you know from the modern day plantation today, and I was walking through a supermarket car park, and you know there's all these birds, different types of birds, you know, they were just chit, you know, hanging around just trying to eat on the scraps that you know these uh these people you know dash on the floor and all of that and amongst them was you know amongst all the small birds there was a gull or what people call it as a seagull but you know they're not really called that they call, they're called gulls all right because they don't all dwell you know by the sea all right and the sea and the gull was basically bullying up all the other little birds right and when I looked at it, it stood out to me the way it was moving, you know, the way it was running around. It was, it wasn't even concerned with eating. It just didn't want any of the other. It's like it didn't want any of the other little birds to eat, you know. It's just running around, pecking at them and scaring them off, and just trying to control the whole situation, man. And you know who sprang to mind when I was looking at that? It was Esau, man, and the way Esau moves. All right. How he wants to take everything for himself. Right? He wants to con complete control of everything. You know, and there's only one being that has complete control of everything, and that's the Heavenly Father. All right? Our Lord Yahweh, our, 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 our power, Yahweh. All right? Our Heavenly Father. Right? He has control of everything, not Esau. But, so yeah, I'm watching this bird and it's. You know, running around, like I said, bullying up, just like Esau does, man. How he, he bullies the other nations, and you know all the people all, all over the world to submit to his will and to his doctrination, indoctrinations, man. You know, so it kind of inspired me to just do a little lesson, man. Just bring out a few scriptures on, on the greed, man, and the greed and the and the and the controlling ways that Esau has has, man. You know. So I'm just going to get a couple. Let me start here anyway. So I'll we'll, we'll do some more co commentary as we go through the scriptures, man. So Habakkuk 2 and 4. It says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. And his his soul is not upright, man, because he created to be the wicked, all right? That's why he does what he does and he can't help doing what he does. And that's why he's perfect at doing what he does. Why? Because that's how... The Most High created him to to be. All right, so the Most High's creations are fit for what He created them for. They're perfect for what He's created them for, and He created Esau to be the wicked and His sword. All right, his sword for the destruction of, you know, um, us, the Israelites, um, and the heathens also. But ultimately, He's going to be the destruction. You know, He's going to be His own destruction. All right, we're going to get into that too. So it says, yeah, it says, um, yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he's a proud man. That wine is, is his, um, his authoritarian, um, ideas that he imposes on, uh, on the masses, man. All right, he's doing that right now in this, in this, uh, demic. All right, imposing his will, and it's going to be to a bitter end, all right, because he's pushing the nations, the people, and all the nations to the brink of, um, you know, um, what's it, uh, major chaos, man, which is what he wants, all right, he wants this, he wants it to go down this way, he knows what he's got, what to expect, man. You could, it's like, um, you know, there was a saying that, um, in one of my favorite games. That used to play um, Metal Gear Solid, right? I don't know if any of you 
any of you who have watched this video have ever played this game but there's a particular scene in the game where the character there's a character called grey fox he's a he's like a cyborg ninja right and he's and he's got trapped but he says as he's got trapped he says a cornered fox is more dangerous than the jackal man meaning what man you, you can't get a fox in the corner man and it's gonna re it's like a rat so rats are like that you corner a rat man and they they'll turn on you all right for survival that survival sake and that's what that is what Esau's doing man he's cornering the masses so they have no choice but to to give that um, um that utmost rebellion and then he's going to come down hard on them and bring out that martial law right anyway so yeah he's so, so he's um he's you know his wine man all the all the um ideal uh, his ideologies that he likes to spread across the globe and if you not adhere to it then you know you're your um you know your your hater or your your it's hate speech or you hate this person you you're prejudiced against that person all right all that's what you know what i'm talking about i'm not gonna go into all that but you know them alphabet all that alphabet business you know that's how he moves man right he wants to be the controlling factor it says neither keep it at home right because he's in, he's invaded everywhere literally everywhere Name a country, name, name, name a, because you know, I'm talking about Babylon, right? Babylon is the, is the, you know, that is the main dwelling place or the main controlling factor, I should say, of um, Esau Edom, right? And um, he is, uh, he has like over 150 or 60 million, uh, 150 or 60 uh, military bases across the globe. Now, all these countries that he has bases in, they can't just go over to Babylon, America, and just shot, uh, you know, put up a shop there, or put up their little military base. That would never happen. So it shows you the power that he has. All right? It says, who enlarge with his desire is hell, and he's as death. He, that's all he brings about. His track record tells you that. All right? He will try to tell you he's about truth, justice, and the American way, and liberty for all, and the American dream, and you know, equality and fairness and no, he's not about any of that, man. He's about death. Death and destruction, man. He says and cannot be satisfied. Yeah, and that's the point. Well that's one of the major points here. And cannot be satisfied, but gather up gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. He can't he's not satisfied, man. He wants a piece of all the pies, man. He wants to get into the minds of all the people and control all the nations, man. That's why he's got his his dollar out there controlling all the current you know controlling all the other current currencies as the main currency you know he's in his his um indoctrinations his his so-called liberty he's trying to spread that across the globe man it says shall not all these things take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say woe to him that increaseth that which is not his how long and to him that laid of himself with thick clay, right? Woe to him, man. Because he's, well, you know, woe to that man who's going around taking from everybody else, man. All right. The Lord set it up where everyone had their lot, right? But he's overstretching his, um, his reach, man. All right. He, as always, he's going too far. It says, Shall they not rise up, rise up suddenly, that shall uh, that shall bite thee, and awake that shall vex thee, and that shall be booties, shall be shall be boot, shall be for booties unto them, and that's you know that's we're gonna do that, but these other nations are gonna switch on Esau, man. They're gonna switch on him. They've already had enough of his shit. <clears throat> right now, you've got Russia and the surrounding smaller nation countries, right, that were part of the USSR now are actually in military training you know together right six nations man now these russian edomites and this is just to prove that esau's going to destroy himself man that's like egypt against egypt man all right he's about to destroy himself and they you know don't think for one second that that's out of their, uh, their own free will man the most high set that up 
he set that up, man. All right, for that World War Three. It says because of verse eight it says, uh, because thou hast uh, spoiled many nations, and all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood, and for the violence of the land, of the city, and all that dwell therein. Just like that, that girl, man, running around, you know, trying to run the show, you know, all these. And there's a, all the, and the funny thing, it was like it was like all the different types of birds, man. All these different types of little birds, man. Like they all gathered together, and they weren't. They were just trying to be peaceable. But this this other this this gold one gold in there just disrupting the whole flow man all right um I could read on but I'm not gonna I want to get some more so it'll be a short one all right so um yeah, let me go hey quick let's get a couple more man really you know, he's put, you know, the Lord, you know, it's good to say the Lord set the bat and said, let me, let me, let me get that, man. Where's that? Am I looking in the right one? So, like, I'll find it. All right, hold on. No, that's not it. It's bound, isn't it? Not boundaries, it's bounds, right? Here it is. <coughs> I'm going to read it, it says Job 14, and I'm going to read it from 4. It says, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean thing? Not one. And he's unclean, man. All right. He's unclean, man. He is, he is, he has no holiness in him, man. All right, he's the wicked, man. He's the evil twin of Jacob, man. All right, Jacob and Esau, he's the evil twin, man. All right. It says, seeing that his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee, that has a point in his bounds that he cannot pass. So he's reaching the pinnacle now of his rulership, all right? Because we're coming into the last, uh, let's say the last hours or last minutes even of this of the, of his day, all right? He's, had, he's nearly had his day, all right? He's reached the peak of his rulership more or less. You know, he's just going to try and implement his new world order, man. But that's going to fail anyway. So he's not even going to reach that peak, right? That whole thing that he's been plotting and scheming to do all this time, he's not even going to establish it. All right, so the Lord has set the bounds. Set his bounds, man. He's in, the Lord's controlling Esau, man. Esau ain't controlling shit out here. He's just doing what he's been, um, uh, you know, uh, made to do. Created to do is the better way of putting it. It's, it's created for. So I drove uh, for uh, 27. It's, uh, and 13 says, This is the portion of a wicked man with the Most High and the heritage of oppressors, which they shall receive of the Almighty. And they are the oppressors, man. Even now, Jake, who aren't even in the truth refer to them as the oppressor all right the truth is out there right? we know what Esau's about now there's no getting around it right he can't cover that up anymore with his movies and his storytelling and his fake news all right we know what he's about <clears throat> it says if his country be multiplied it is for the sword and his offspring Shall not be satisfied with bread, and then, and then, and that's true, man. All right, because the offspring are, are here, doing the will of the of the of the nation of Eden, man, and they're never satisfied. All right, never. 
It says, those that remain of him shall be buried in death, and his widow shall not weep. Right? You know, destruction's coming for them, man. Big time. You know, for a lot of them are going to perish in, in this World War Three, and then when Yahushua comes back in that moment, and then the rest of them are going to be rounded up and put into hardcore bondage, man. Until they be destroyed after they've served their time. It's going to be a long and painful um, servitude, man. It says, uh, though he heap up silver as the dust and prepare raiment as the clay. Because he, all this heaping up is pointless, man. You know? He's heaping it all up and he's never going to be able to keep on to it. He now, the scripture says that his inward thought is that his house is house houses shall continue forever, man. Right? That's not going to happen. Now that's what he thinks because he's so proud and he has so much control right now that's been given to him that he thinks that he's going to continue to come forever, man. The Lord can't allow that, man. And nor would he because he would just... If he left these sorts of his own devices, he would literally probably blow this whole planet up if he could. All right? But the scripture says the earth abide forever, man, so we don't have to worry about that. He says... um. He may prepare it, but the just shall put it on, and the innocent shall divide the silver. And that's us, man. That's the that's the um the, the Israelites, man. All right. So he's preparing. Basically, he's preparing all this stuff, and we're just gonna take it. The scripture says, um, uh, what is it? The saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Right. I forget where it is. My mind's gone. But we're going to take the kingdom and possess this kingdom on here on earth forever. So we're the only ones that have that promise of forever rulership, man. Right, so I can read on, but like I said, I'm, this is already stretching on longer than I wanted to. Just wanted to make a brief, you know. So let me just jump to the last piece I want to get. I want to get the last bit of, of uh, scripture, man. Because he's uh, he's he's literally he's done out here, man. He's done. He's more or less reached his peak, like I said, man. So destruction is the next step for him. But there's a few more prophecies that have to come to pass, you know. Like the 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 he's got he's got to try and implement his mark. All right, World War Three's got to come. All right, Jacob's trouble, all these things. <clears throat> so this is Obadiah it says the vision of Obadiah thus saith the Lord, power or the Lord Yahweh concerning Edom. It says we have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador sent among the heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Yeah, World War Three, man. All the nations are gonna have got it in for Esau, man. You know, if he still had any sense, you know, maybe well, he probably does uh, have enough sense to fear. That's why he's always trying to suppress the powers of these other nations, man, because he knows what he's been doing out there. Like, he knows he's been doing too much, and these nations, all they want to do is take Babylon out of the picture. All right, they're waiting for that moment. It says, um,. Behold, he says, I have made, behold, I have made thee small among the heathen that art greatly despised. And like I just said, man, these other, all the nations want a piece of Babylon, man. Because, why? Because of they, the crimes, man. The crimes that they've committed against humanity, man. Libya, Afghanistan, Iraq. Um, what, they've done, what they've done to us, man. Transatlantic slave trade. Alright. Um, what, what else came into my mind? Uh, there's something else. Oh yeah, uh, Japan. Um, you know the the, the atom bombs, man. You know dropping bombs on Japan. All these things, man. Hiroshima, you know Hiroshima, Nagasaki. You know, he's done nothing but wrought wickedness and destruction on this earth against all the other nations, man. Now picture him as that goal, man. If that goal had any sense. He would be fearful about these other birds around him that he's bullying up and 
try and forcing them to not eat. You're turning on him, man. But Esau's not that smart. Or oh, it's not that he's not that smart, I shouldn't say that. He's too proud to even understand that that because that could that could ever happen. And then we're gonna get into that. It says, um, the pride of thine heart have deceived thee, thou the dwellest in the cliffs of the rock, whose habitation is high, that's safe in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Right? His habitation is high, man. He's up he's no, that's his pride, man. He's put his pride has put him on high. He thinks he's above everybody else, man. That's why there's a, that phrase has been coined white supremacy, right? He's not white, okay. First and foremost, he's not white, he's red, man. All right. Edom equates to red. Out of one, right? He's red. Right, he's not he's not white, man. It says, um, yeah, who shall bring me down to the ground? So he thinks he can't be touched, man. And that's how Babylon America thinks. They that they can't be touched. It says, Thou exalt thyself as the eagle, though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence I will bring thee down, save the Lord. So the Lord's gonna have to take them down, man. We don't have that power. All this talk about, you know, this um black power and you know black excellence and do this, that and that, you're not doing nothing, right? We can't do anything without the most high. Right? He's given these sort of power and only he can take it away from him. Because if thieves, verse five, if thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the grape gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? Because you, when you harp, when we do our harp, when we're supposed to do our harvest, man, as as um people of, you know, as kind, a uh, kind and just nation, right? We wouldn't, we would, yeah, there would be no starving people in our nation, man. Not like how um Esau has his nations and it's got people on the street, people begging for food and stuff, all right? Where the normal people have to. Help, help the other people which is nothing wrong with that but they shouldn't have to do that in the first place man so we would we you know we would gather the harvest and leave stuff leave some things you know leave some some grapes on the vine or whatnot leave some root vegetables where you know the what's left over man. you don't take everything because that's greed man but Esau's not like that he wants to take everything so there's nothing left He would he don't he wouldn't leave any he doesn't leave grapes man. Verse six says how are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? Because he's he's deep on the thoughts man, and the ways of the world trying to deceive the nations and get into the minds of the people man. His money and and brain power is is his main factors, you know among you know other than the sword man. He uses those things wisely. It says, all the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. Like I said, man, these other nations are set, getting ready to blow Babylon to bits. Or them ICBMs that they were creating out there through the will, you know, of the Most High, man. Isaiah 54, man. It says, um, <coughs> they that eat... Thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is no, there is no understanding him. Yeah, because they eat the bread of what they that that they've eaten. Your, they've eaten well off of Esau, man. All right, but they're about to switch on him because ultimately they've eaten well off of Esau. These other nations because they're confederate with him, but ultimately Esau's still been in control. It says, "Shall I not in that day save the Lord?" Even destroy the wise men out of Edom, and understanding that of the Mount of Tim out of Esau, and thy mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. Slaughter, man. It says every one of the mounts. So every one in that 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 high governing, you know, the mountain sometimes refers to. Uh, you know, uh, humongous chariots, and sometimes it refers to uh, the rulership and the hierarchy, the, the the top level rulers, man, the mountains. Yeah. So it says to the end that every one of Mount 
of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. It says the Lord's bringing, Yahweh is coming back to bring the pain, basically. It says, for thy, brother, well, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. All right? Because of what they've done to us, man. What they've done. Remember, we we are their brothers, man. And this is how they treated us. They've put their brothers at the lowest. Um, through the power of the Lord, obviously, it's the Lord's show. But they put us at the bottom, man. And they have no intentions of ever, you know, letting us out or letting us up from the bottom, from underneath their foot boots, man. So they, the Lord's going to destroy them for that. All right. So I'm going to close out on that, man. Yeah, man. Just a little one. A bit of inspir inspiration from, from the nature, from the Lord's creations, man. So some, sometimes it works like that, man. All right. So, yeah. Lord wouldn't this was edifying anyway. All right. As always, I want to give once more all the praises and honor and the glory to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai, Basham, And with that, I will say Shalom.